Dragovich, Dreschenko, Stein. You will need to be. These men must die. Mr. Mason. The Russians fucked you up. What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and it looks like Treyarch has yet again confirmed Call of Duty 2020 before Activision has even had the chance to reveal the game. Activision hasn't confirmed the lead developer, a global gameplay reveal, or even a release date for the game itself. We have new information about not only Black Ops Cold War, but even a tease from a motion capture actress which may actually be connected to Black Ops Cold War Zombies. So much to go into. We also have a new release release date for Modern Warfare Season 4, which may actually impact the reveal and marketing for Treyarch's next game. But first and foremost, as a reminder, beanie hats are now available on my website for just $14.99, along with my other t-shirt designs. I have new Zombies merch coming to my website very damn soon. I'm going to look out for an official announcement over on my Twitter. But first off, as you guys may have saw in the news, we have Call of Duty Esports player Chance, who surprisingly went on Reddit and answered a few people questions about the upcoming esports experience for Call of Duty 2020. So as you guys can see in his comment, he said, stay hopeful guys, the devs over at Treyarch are really interested in making next year a great year for competitive and I'm being 100% serious. Somebody replied and said, please tell me this isn't the usual yearly comments because I've been hearing this from pros for a few years now. And he then replied, chance that is, with nope, just meetings with the devs to discuss competitive philosophy. There's more to it, of course, and to be honest, I don't even know if I was allowed to share what I just shared. I know how hopeless some of you are, but all I want is for us as a community to get excited and to get behind and support the devs over at Treyarch. Spread positive energy, guys. And I can almost guarantee you he wasn't supposed to say that, but once again confirms that we have esports players talking with the devs over at Treyarch about the competitive scene. And what's funny about this, too, is that the esports players weren't flown out for anything, and... I'm not sure if it's even possible for a while considering the pandemic, so I'm sure they had a conference call or two, you know, via Zoom or something, who actually knows what it was, but taking a look at this, right, the competitive philosophy, I think Treyarch was kind of at their peak with the esports scene within Black Ops 2 with League Play, and they did fairly well with World League and Black Ops 3. A lot of people loved competitive Black Ops 3, and that's why something I was saying for a while is that Black Ops 3 should have honestly been the last Call of Duty for a little while, because if you think about it, the hype was through the roof for multiplayer, esports, zombies, everything was working out, everybody was happy, the energy was so hot. Just imagine if Black Ops 3 got like a proper or, you know, second or third season pass with loads of new content. You know, to be fair, the game was updated for three years straight with a load of cool things, but imagine if it was properly updated with multiple season passes and there weren't other Call of Duties releasing alongside that, right? That just would have been awesome, but hopefully Treyer can get back to their peak of esports yet again with the release of Black Ops Cold War. But something else I really wanted to go into, which was posted literally a week ago, we just haven't had a chance to discuss it, is a post from Lisa Katara. She's actually a motion capture actress that has done work for the Call of Duty franchise before. And she posted a picture in her motion capture outfit in front of a Shadows of Evil poster. And somebody was like, wait, did you work on Shadows of Evil? And she said, yup. And somebody assumed, wait, the blonde lady, right? Is this a hint to more zombies content? And she responded with, I did the mocap for the blonde lady, many zombies, soldiers, an infant baby, but no hints right now. Have patience. And we also know that she did, I believe, the motion capture for the Oracle within Ancient Evil and Black Ops 4. So she has done work for Treyarch, you know, in the past year or so. So I wouldn't be surprised to see her do something else for the release of Black Ops Cold War. Now, whether that means zombies is definitely unknown. Would they be doing motion caps for zombies at this moment in time? I'm just not sure. I know at around this time back in, what was it, 2018, when they revealed Voyage 9 and Blood, they had 
had motion capture done for the cinematic cutscenes for specifically Voyage 9, so I'm assuming by this time, if they're on schedule, I'm gonna assume they're probably not, but if they're on schedule, they may be doing motion capture for one of the cutscenes for one of the Zombies maps we'll see in Black Ops Cold War, but for more specific information about what we know about Call of Duty 2020 Zombies right now, I will have my dual commentary linked down below in the description where the Gaming Revolution and I went over the absolute latest intel about Treyarch's next installment of Zombies when it comes to the Transit remake, the other Victus remakes being moved, the new Vietnam experiences, and the fact that Classic Perks will be returning. So that again will be linked down below in the description. Now we also have some new details about the leaked gameplay we saw just the other day for Call of Duty 2020, the alpha build of multiplayer so to speak, which as we saw in the footage is of the multiplayer map Tanks. Now some interesting details here thanks to somebody in the Gaming Revolution's comments that posted this. We have the Tanks are Abrams Tanks, not in service until 1979, so Cold War period, that rings a bell. We have the gun looks like maybe an AK-5, a Swedish rifle based off the FNFNC, or it could be an HK-33, too big for an MP5. We talked about how it looked like the Kowu or the Dewu K2, however you say that, which is a rifle I've never heard of, but I went over in yesterday's video where we did talk about all of the upcoming weapons for Call of Duty 2020 that we know of so far. And this person also mentioned the Diesler trucks. So it either could be a placeholder or hinting something about the storyline. We know Diesler did play a role. I hope I said that right. Diesler, Diesler, they did play a role in Black Ops 4, the multiplayer map arsenal. From what I understand, they're in charge of robotics. So is Black Ops Cold War serving as some type of prequel for the original Black Ops games or are the rumors correct that essentially it'll take place in a parallel universe to the original Black Ops game where events do take place in a similar fashion to the original with you know some slight modifications to the point where they can go in a new direction storyline wise we just don't know how they're going to do that but obviously it will feel like a Black Ops game so again tank wasn't in service during the Cold War that's the big thing to take away from that right the Abram tank however you call it so clearly there is some really big story going on here with the Cold War but as I reported in just a couple of videos ago with how this game will essentially take place in the future but tell the story of the Cold War in Vietnam through flashbacks that's an interesting take it's almost like the Black Ops 2 vibe right you know with storytelling which I'm down for but I guess my big question is how this ties into the Black Ops games overall does Black Ops really need to be in the title for this Call of Duty can they just call it Call of Duty Cold War a Black Ops story instead like I was suggesting right it just Black Ops Cold War doesn't roll well on the tongue and on top of that we have threads from Black Ops 4 and Blackout that hopefully can get explained in this game as I went over briefly in a previous video we have some really odd stuff over on Classified which hints at this whole Vietnam storyline that really never got fleshed out and again it was weird right because in the zombie map Classified we're seeing like campaign threads being talked about like with Pat Tranko with Dimitri with Woods with Reznov there was a lot of stuff in Classified and that makes sense right it's the Pentagon so clearly we'll see some campaign references but classified had some really interesting threads that never saw light of day so maybe that was a tease for call of duty 2020 and then obviously we have that stuff from blackout right which really still doesn't make much sense we know james c burns also recently said that he wasn't able to do a live read of the script for black ops 1 on stream because of something going on and my guess obviously is maybe it is because of call of duty 2020 they don't want him to do a read of a script you know where there could be parts in that script that weren't fleshed out in the original Black Ops, but maybe fleshed out now in their next game. So we have some really weird stuff going on with that. Also, as a reminder, as I've gone over many times in the past, but I'm sure people have forgot by now, uh, we did hear from Verified Insiders that apparently, as of recently, Mason and Woods had different voice actors behind them, but that doesn't mean that we won't see the return of Sam Worthington as Mason or James C. Burns as Woods. There could easily be placeholder actors, right? Or I should say placeholder lines right now in an early build of the game for those characters, and then they'll bring the actual actors to the studio to record later later on because of the pandemic because of the riots everything could be delayed as we know it so bear in mind they may not be recasted now besides that too with the blackout cutscene right where woods tells mason that he was the one in the box right he's kind of telling the story in a different order that could be what this game is all about this game could literally just be there for fun where woods tells mason a whole different string of events that may have never happened but will be experiencing them in black ops cold war the game could literally be a giant goof right of the black ops story we have 
have no idea what they're going to do with this game. And I'm really curious to see how they handle it, though, because hopefully it doesn't tarnish the iconic legacy of Black Ops, right? They have balls to make another Black Ops game after Black Ops 4 wasn't received so well. Now, Modern Warzone over on Twitter is obviously linked with several insiders and data miners that know just about everything that's going on, and he went ahead and tweeted, we can now give 99% verifiable confirmation that Season 4 of Modern Warfare and Warzone will be available at the normal Tuesday update time on June the 9th, so 11 p.m. Pacific. This information is directly from the files and has been verified through multiple sources. As we all say, everything is subject to change. Maybe they originally planned to delay it until June 9th, but that wasn't, you know, taking the riots into account, so they delayed it anyway, but maybe now it's going to push back even farther because of the riots. Who knows what their actual plan was, right? It's obviously a conspiracy that they delayed the season, not because of the stuff going on in politics right now, but actually because the content wasn't finished for season four. So why I'm even going over this, this could actually impact the reveal for Call of Duty 2020, right? If season four is supposed to come out next Tuesday, then maybe at some point the following week we'll see a Call of Duty 2020 reveal. Because if you look at June 9th, right, you'll probably give Infinity Ward a solid week to just, you know, take a breather, release season four, and then, you know, have all the focus on that. And then maybe the following week on maybe June 16th or even June 18th, we'll finally see a title reveal for Treyarch's next game. And that's the thing, right? All we really need is a title reveal and maybe just a date when we'll see gameplay. They don't have to reveal everything all at one moment while season four is in the spotlight, right? I'm sure they would have hoped to release season four when it was supposed to like a week ago so that Call of Duty 2020 can get some attention, you know, not too far after that. But we're getting close to the 4th of July and we still don't know very much about this game, you know, besides the inside information we've had. But let me know what you think of this down below in the comment section. This has been DK Dynamite. Once again, we'll keep you guys updated with the latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information here on the channel. I've been talking quite a bit with EGR, Modern Warzone. We're trying to get all the information we possibly can to give you guys the most clarity with exactly what's going on with Treyarch's next game. Because it's been really awkward lately how, you know, they haven't confirmed that Treyarch's making it, but there are all these teasers, all these hints, all these leaks literally confirming that Treyarch's making the game and it will be a game that's in the Black Ops series. But that is about it and peace out everyone.